Uh, hello again everyone. Um, today I just wanted to uh, run through some of the uh, common controls used within uh, Visual Basic. Um, the ones I'm going to show you are the button, the check, bo the check box, the uh, combo box, the label, the list box, uh, the picture box the, and the progress bar. Uh, these ones are just really simple ones and uh, you had to use them for almost anything. So uh, let's get started. Um, we'll start with the button. Um, the button is used for, well if you watched the previous tutorial with the uh, message box thing, um, you can use this to change the text on the button, say uh, this is a button. Um, buttons can be used for like just activating an event um, say you want to show a message box, you just click the button um, and it will appear, the mes message box will appear um, but uh, with a checkbox what you can do is if you click this button this checkbox will become checked and uh, I'll show you that now uh, just double click on the button to bring up the code window and uh, if uh, the name of the control is checkbox 1 by default uh, it adds a number each time you add a new one and uh, you can change the name of the checkbox as well um, so right I'm gonna write in here checkbox 1 dot checked equals true now if I run this you will see in a second well, it's just loading up now um, here you go, this, and check the box uh, do it again and again, there you go, there's that one done um, I said I would show you the list box as well Oh, the com I'll use the combo box actually in conjunction with a text box as well. Um, the combo box is used for having items in a drop down box. Uh, so, item 1, item 2, item 3. Uh, click OK. Right now, there are three items within this combo box now. Uh, I'll just show you. Here you go, uh, here are the three items. Uh, the button still works for the checkbox. Um, but now we're going to add some more code. So when you click this button, the item that's selected within the combo box displays inside the text box. So um, this combo box is called Combo Box 1 uh, by default. You can change that as well. Um, right, so uh, Text Box 1, the text box that was on the form equals combo box one dot selected item and now if I run this you will see that if I select item two put that in there checks the box and puts item two in the text box below right um list boxes what you can do with this one is the items inside this combo box uh, you can have it put it into the list box as many times as you want. So uh, I'll double click this button again, the default name for the list box is list box one dot and then items dot add uh, bracket and then the item from the combo box. So the combo box one dot selected item. Close the bracket and uh, now I'll show you this. Um, select item one it puts item one in there uh, and then we'll select item 3 it puts item 3 in there as well so that's what that one does um, I will show you now uh, the picture box picture box um, I'll just uh, have a just a random image come up inside this so um, let's delete that line now, now the list box is gone um, so picture box one dot image location 
equals and now what I want to do is go to my pictures <coughs> and uh, go to sample pictures and uh, I'll just get the URL to this file but yeah, I'll just create a shortcut quickly get the properties and uh, select that and uh, close that now and now I will put here the image location in quotes oh no uh, there's quotes already attached to it um, so now when I press this it should load the image there you go um, now I'll delete that one and show you oh, actually I'll leave the progress bar for another tutorial so um there's some of the basic controls. That's a very quick run through of them. I will be going uh, more in depth with each control as we go along. This is only lesson two, and these les these beginning lessons are for absolute beginners. And uh, I hope you uh, come back for to see the uh, the third tutorial in this series and visit shadowlabs.net. Thanks a lot.